In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and make some really cool effects, like this mirror effect and this tiny town effect. What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. It's been a while since we've done a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, so today I'm going to show you seven really cool effects that you can use and make in DaVinci Resolve and you don't need any extra plugins. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first up, we've got this frame slam effect. So what you want to do is drag your clips onto your timeline, highlight all of them, then right click and choose change duration and change these to 10 frames. Then you need to delete the gaps. So you can either use a keyboard shortcut. I have mine under shift G or you can go up here to edit and then select delete gaps. Now take your second clip, drag it up to the next track and move it over your first clip by three frames and then repeat this process for all of your other clips. Then go to open FX, search for the transform and drag this onto your second clip. Next, put your playhead at the cut point and go to the inspector tab. Select effects and change position Y to 0.5. Then place a keyframe with this icon here and move your playhead to the end of the first clip and change the position Y value to zero. Finally, scroll down to animation and under motion blur, you need to put this all the way up. Now repeat this for all of your clips and you should have something that looks like this. Next up, we've got the depth map. Now the depth map is really cool and you can do so much of it, but I'm just gonna show you the basic use of it to give you an idea, but you can go wild with it and all its applications. So you want to use a clip that has depth to it with something or someone in the foreground. Put this clip in your timeline, then go to effects and search the depth map. Now drag this onto your clip and open the inspector tab. So you'll see you've got all of this gray. Now what you need to know is the thing closest to the camera is white and the thing furthest away is black with various levels of gray in the middle. Now in order to mask out the foreground, we need to make sure that adjust map levels is selected. Now take the far limit and turn it up until the background is completely black. Then take the near limit and bring it down so your foreground is completely white. Also check this box here for isolation. It just helps with refining the edges. Now if you turn off the depth map preview, you're left with just the foreground image. Now if you want to, you can put different footage under this so it plays on top. So you might have something that looks like this. Okay, so the next effect that I want to show you is this rapid zoom effect. So what you need to do is put your clips on your timeline and you want these clips to be around five frames long just so the effect looks its best. Then go to effects, search for an adjustment clip and put this above your first clip. Then drag it one frame longer. Now back in effects, search for transform and drag this onto your adjustment clip. Then select your adjustment clip, go over to the inspector tab and create a keyframe on zoom. Next, move your playhead to the end of the first clip and increase the zoom to around 1.2. Then go down to animation and increase the motion blur. Put this all the way up. Now head back over to your timeline and remove that extra frame that we put on the adjustment clip. Now the last step is to then copy the adjustment clip on top of each of your main clips. You can do this by holding down Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and dragging the clip to the right. And now you should have this really cool zoom effect. Okay, so next I wanna show you another zoom effect, but this time it's gonna be on a specific part of your video. So once you've got your clip on the timeline, move your playhead to the position you want the zoom to start, then bring the same clip down onto the timeline in the track above. Now disable the first track and go to the color page. Now click on this window button and choose the circle for example. Then place this circle on the area that you want to zoom into. So I'm just going to put this here. Now you can play with the edges if you need to, just make it the way you want it. Now on the right hand side, right click and add alpha output and then connect these two blue squares by dragging one to the other. Now we need to go back over to the edit page and reactivate the first track. Next, put your playhead where you want the zoom to start. Select your top clip, go to the inspector tab and add a keyframe. Move forward a few frames and then zoom in to the amount that you need. Now you can also use the X and Y positions to position the zoom exactly where you want it. And now you should be left with this. As you can see, it zooms in without zooming into the whole clip. Okay, so now we move on to the tilt shift effect. And this gives your footage this sort of tiny town vibe. It looks really cool. It works best on landscape or city footage, things like that. Once you've got your footage on your timeline, go to effects and search for tilt shift blur and drag this onto your clip. Now you can adjust the blur using the sliders for center X and center Y. So just adjust these like I'm doing here until your footage looks the way that you're happy with it and you should be left with something with this tiny town sort of vibe. It looks really cool. Next up, we've got this locked in camera effect. Now I love this effect and it's really easy to create. So add your clip to the timeline, then go to the fusion tab, open effects and search for tracker. Now drag this onto the yellow line here. 
Now, drag this rectangle onto the thing that you want the camera to lock onto. Then over here in the inspector tab, change the adaptive mode to best match. Then track the clip all the way through with this arrow here. After this, in the inspector tab, go to operation, drop this down and choose match move. Then change the merge to VG only. Now, if you go back to your edit page and click play, you'll see that your subject is locked in. Now you might get these black bars bouncing up and down. If you do get this, select your clip, go to the inspector tab and zoom in slightly until you can no longer see them. Okay, so the last effect that I wanna show you is the mirror effect that you saw in the intro. So once again, put your clip onto your timeline and then go to effects and search for mirrors and then drag this onto your clip. Now, right away, you'll notice it mirrors your clip straight down the middle. Now, if you want that top and bottom mirror effect that like you saw in the intro, you need to go over to the inspector tab and under angle, change this to negative 90. Then increase the Y position until your city isn't touching the bottom half. And there you have this awesome inception looking mirror effect. And that's all seven effects done. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found these seven effects useful and can apply them in your own work. And while you're here, why not check out my other DaVinci Resolve tutorials? Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.